How, how was your ankle? It's good. Um, did some light work this morning, did some treatment, and feeling, feeling pretty good. Yeah. So we'll go day by day and see how it feels tomorrow. If it was the regular season or the playoffs, you think you would have kept playing? Yes, 100%. Yeah. Uh, so it's, I already knew it was nothing major. I wanted to go back in the second half, but just wanted to be smart and they told me to relax and, and get ready for the next one or, or, or for a regular season. Is it just the ankle or you have the tough fall on your back afterwards as well? No, yeah, just the ankle, just the ankle, yeah. Just stepped on a Terry Roger, a quick twist and it happened many times, happens many times to everybody, so it's nothing major. Do you think you'll play for it? You were playing especially well in the first half. Um, what kind of rhythm were you in? Yeah, I feel good offensively. I try to stay aggressive, especially against, um, you know, if, if they play defense on me like that, even just drop coverage, I can pop for those threes, you know, Kuz and Will, Tay, they were all finding me, just shooting my shots, and, and they're going in. Um, so, yeah, I feel good. Rhythm is good. Body's feeling good. Just now I need to clean up the ankle and we'll be good to go again. When, when you do finally have the opportunity to play alongside Greg, do you anticipate that the majority of the Sonics will play in drop coverage um, given how dangerous he is driving the ball? Yeah, no, that's, that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be our, our, our uh, we're going to have to read those situations, see what, the, what kind of defense the, the other team brings, but I think Probably late here would be late, like a late switch would be the what most teams will do. Maybe some show will get back to me, but either way, I think the more time me and Brad get together, I think the, the better we'll be at reading those defenses and taking advantage of whatever coverage they're, they're, they're giving us. What do you think of Kuzma as a point forward? Right. That's one of the things I like the most about him. His ability to create for everybody. You know, he's big. He sees over defenses, and he knows how he knows how to pass the ball. And, uh, and yeah, he's a great cutter. And I think I think the way Brad and, and, and Kuz is, they're unselfish guys. They're, they they want to get everybody else involved. Everybody else feeling good, and, and, uh, and so. That's that's something we all gotta have in mind as as teammates for each other to kind of build that kind of culture where uh, the guy's gonna cut hard because he knows he might get the ball. You know, he, and if he will be open, he will get the ball. So I think uh, we're heading in that direction. So that's a positive sign. Do you think you'll play Friday or TBD? If I was uh, in, if it was in my hands, like if I could make the decision, I would play for sure. I think. Uh, but yeah, again, I haven't really moved around since yesterday, so I don't know how it's feeling in reality. But uh, but like walking and like I try to light jog. I don't tell the medical staff, but I try to light jog and it felt pretty good. So hopefully uh, until Friday, I should be I should be pretty healthy. Were you making uh, fun of Gortat because he couldn't touch the rim on his tippy toes? No, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to set him up for like a dunk, you know, to dunk on him. Like, hey, sometimes, hey, how far are you from the rim? Somebody stands there and they just dunk on him from behind. <laughs> so that's what I was trying to do, but I had the ankle, so I was like, ah, I shouldn't do it, probably. So I was trying to get somebody else to do it, but nobody would respond, but I'll get him one time. You guys got a little taste of the fans here and how much they support you. How excited are you just to start get the season started here at Capital One? Yeah, I can't wait because always beginning of the season is, is a lot of fun, there's a lot of energy, excitement. People have more talent this, this year. Um, and I think the fans know that. You know, just having more talent, more uh, more guys that are um, that, that that you know that can bring more to the team just you know, makes the team overall better. And that's what the fans want. Fans want playoffs, fans want winning team, winning basketball. And and that's our job to go out there and execute and play to our talent level. So we're excited and we're excited to hopefully make it an exciting season for the fans.